Good morning. This is the Plains World Podcast that can be found each week on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. You can also find us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. You get more information and listen to previous shows on our website, which is behind me, and that's www.blainsworld.net. I'm your host, Blaine Greenfield, and I'm here in my Zoom studio in lovely downtown Fairview, North Carolina. And each week, we focus on positive news and information that people and organizations in both West North Carolina and throughout the country. And to that end, it's my pleasure to have as my guest today for the first time, uh, Jesse Holy. And Jesse, you can wave to all your fans and friends who are watching this. Okay, so hey. you want to get that? Okay, that's Jesse. And Jesse is a senior musical theater major with a minor in dance at Western Carolina University. She is so excited to step in this first time as choreographer of Hot Theater's upcoming production of Mean Girls uh, Junior. And so with that in mind, let me ask you, uh, Jesse, first time you and I have met, uh, you, you're in musical theater. When did you start in musical theater as a kid? Wait, let me, before I do that, let me ask you this question. Where did you grow up? I grew up in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. Okay. And so growing up as a kid in Wilmington, North Carolina, did you always know you wanted to be in musical theater? Well, actually, I started out as a figure skater. Um, I competed uh, doing figure skating for a bit and then fell in love with the chorus life in school. And then I actually started theater about sixth grade, so middle school time. Do you remember your first show? I do. It was Camp Rock 2. <laughs> Camp Rock 2. Yes. Um, how exciting. I, I ask that question because is there a record of that anywhere? Do they have a videotape? Oh, there's probably a recording maybe on YouTube, like way back when, but I'd probably have to look in the archives of what they have. Yeah. Because I have this idea I've shared with people at heart for a long time. I still want to do it, but I want everybody to recreate the very first role, you know? <laughs> so wouldn't that, as a fundraiser, wouldn't that be fun? You know, you get up and do what you were in sixth grade. So you'd have a permanent record of it. Everybody could see this. Wouldn't that be a fun thing to do? Oh, yeah, for sure. That'd be awesome. Yeah, everybody would do their very first role. So after that, that kind of got you the bug into musical theater? Absolutely, yes. Um, I got tied into that. It's a really busy schedule. You pretty much do rehearsals every night until 9 p.m. And I was bouncing uh, figure skating. I'd have to be on the ice at 6 a.m. Um, but then I just fell in love with dancing and singing a little bit more and decided to go that route instead. I, re I read about that every so often. That's a tough choice, I guess, folks have to make, you know, especially if you were figure skating and competitively and you were good in it. And then to all of a sudden be drawn into musical theater, Paul, you, you figure skating people weren't too happy with you at that time, right? Or they wanted you to continue? Well, they they totally understood. And I still love uh, skating and I'm in contact with my coach and still still love going back every now and again. I, I haven't dropped it. It's still a great skill to have, but they, they understood for sure. Okay. So you kind of got into theater, I guess, in high school. That was when you got into it seriously? Uh, middle school, middle school. Uh, high school, more serious. Yeah. Okay. And at that time... Uh, were you acting and dancing? Yes, then? I did plenty of productions. I would do, I mean, I would be in several at once, honestly, is what I was doing with many different companies in Wilmington. I'm very fortunate to have a really good community um, theater there. And I find that so incredible that that women and guys who well do that, you know, where they're doing like, I, I can't believe how you do this, doing like two or three things at once, you know, yeah. in, in one rehearsing another, reading for another. What's the most you've ever been done at one time? Um, I want to say I was in three at once. Wow. <laughs> yeah. While also balancing school. It's a lot. It's typically finishing a production or in show, and then it's in rehearsals and then auditioning for another. And then at all at once, you're kind of balancing them all. It's a lot, but I love it. I love being busy. So up till now, do you have a favorite production you were in? Ooh, that is a really hard question. Um, I just recently did a chorus line. That's probably one of my favorites I've ever done. Okay. College. And I've actually done that one twice. So what in college? Um, yeah, well, once in high school and then just this past summer, I did it professionally in Orlando. Very exciting. Now, when you were uh, doing that uh, professionally, so you had those roles, uh, do you have any other production, if not, chorus line that you'd like to do in the future like you have a dream role oh um 
I would love to play Kathy in the last five years. That's a dream. Okay. Role. That's a fun, fun show too. Yes. And it, what, what's fun about that one is not a lot of people have done it, you know, locally, you know, chorus mm -hmm. line, everybody's done uh, locally. Out of all the things you've done, do you prefer acting, singing, dancing? Now you're doing chore choreography. Do you have a favorite thing you like doing best? I definitely love uh, singing and dancing. If I get to dance in a show, I'm happy. If I get to sing in a show, I'm happy. Um, I mean, I love acting just as much, but um, I actually did my first play this past semester, which that was exciting. Um, but I mostly do the musicals where there's a lot of dancing involved. What was your first play? My first play was The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Okay. And yes, there was no singing and dancing? No. Well, we did a little bit of singing, but it's not in the script. It was just for for fun and laughs. Where did you do that? At Western Carolina University. Because what I find hard to believe, uh, Jesse, a lot of people tell me this, and they may tell you this as well, is that they love plays, but they don't like musicals. You know, they don't like people singing and dancing. I don't get it. You know, how can you not like a musical? Right. <laughs> but but do you have, uh, have you ever heard that before? Yeah, I know people prefer typically one or the other. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's a shame because the reality is the answer should be, if it's good, you're going to like whatever's good, you know, so if it's if it's good for the last five years, yeah, I'd love to see you do that at some point in time. Do you ever want to direct? Um, yes, I am very interested in directing. I've been assistant director um, for Little Women in Wilmington. Um, that was a fun leadership role I got to do. Um, I love being behind the table. It's a different experience, but it's also um, fun to put your artistic mind into a production separately. Now, what a lot of directors don't tell me, and I speak to a lot of directors, I speak to a lot of actors, but directors oftentimes say they prefer directing. And the reality, Jesse, they're not honest with me, is that they don't have to remember the lines that way. You know, so if you direct, you, know, you don't have to memorize anything, but uh, to do both. Uh, now, with respect to choreography, is this the first time you've done choreography in a show? Um, no, this isn't my first time. I was able to do choreography for Bring It On this summer as well at my internship. Um, but this is my second time doing choreography for a production besides little um, student led production things I've done. But yeah, it's definitely still a new world doing choreography for a production. And it's the first time you've done it in Western North Carolina, which will be exciting. Yes. So talk about for the benefit of the folks who don't realize what a choreographer is. What does choreographer do? Um, we come up with the dances and the spacing for um, all those big musical numbers, uh, typically involving the ensemble and uh, any group numbers that they're all singing together. So I've always wondered, for example, for Mean Girls, this Mean, mean Girls, what, two, what is this? Mean Girls 2? Mean Girls Junior. Junior, okay. Yes. Well, for that, like, do you have directions as to how to do the dances and, and choreography do but, i get direction it, it, no not you give but do you read them somewhere or are they in the script that dancers are going to do these different things no it's actually not in the script at all um typically what i get is i do get a hard copy of the script so i can see the lyrics and then i can um, choreograph on that if that's a direction i want to go um i also get the rehearsal tracks and i listen to those and then i typically play in a studio a little bit and I'm able to do that with um Javen who is the other he's a co-choreographer um so we typically spend some time in the studio just figuring out some combinations see what works and then we um write it down and then I go to the kids and I teach it later how about uh in terms of watching other productions is that something you ever do oh I love watching other productions and I get a lot of um uh ideas too from that uh but I try to sway away from uh, copying or, or recreating. Um, but sometimes you'll find that you've done a dance in the past and you're like, oh, I love this dance move. I'd love to put it in this way and just change it up a little bit. What happens if it's a classic show, um, the Oklahoma or a Fiddler or something? Do the, you're teaching me something here. So the choreography in those could be different whoever's doing the show? Absolutely. It's different almost every single time. Um, the choreographer has complete artistic ability. And then 
uh, depending if the director likes it or not, which um, typically they give the choreographer like full reign on that. Um, you can really create any kind of movement, uh, stylistic, depending on your direction of the show. Okay, so it doesn't have to be what was done on Broadway or it doesn't have to be done elsewhere. Nope. Uh, typically, no. Um, certain productions like A Chorus Line are very set in stone yeah. choreography, so that will be done um, multiple like places the same exact way. But a show like Mean Girls has a lot of flexibility and it is a new musical, so there isn't many productions to even look on, uh, actually. So really, you just get to look at the style of the show and then go based off that. Now, with Mean Girls, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, I guess it's based on the movie. Is that the idea behind yes. it? So mm -hmm. for the benefit of the folks who don't know or thought of the movie, uh, can you give me kind of a Reader's Digest version of what the movie is about? Well, <laughs> the movie is about this girl who moves from Africa and comes to this high school where this society is just so different. And it kind of highlights all the really bad parts of high school with the mean girls and the geeks and the jocks and all that. Um, it's very stereotypical. And she gets tied into this friend group and kind of turns me and herself. And it's a story about um, really just being your true self and then trusting that and then finding friends who bring out the best in you. And then, um, yeah, it's kind of a crazy story, actually. <laughs> um, but they did make it a musical. Now, for folks who haven't seen it, what age limit, what age range would you say would be appropriate for? Well, for the junior cast, it's uh, middle school and high school. Um, that's the age range that we shoot for, typically like older middle school um, kids and then our high schoolers. So we have age ranges all through that. Now, a compliment to Hayward Arts Regional Theater, where you're going to be um, doing choreography for, is that the, ordinarily I never used to love junior productions, you know, but to their credit, their stuff is really good. You know, have you seen other junior productions at Hart? Yeah, I actually got to go see um, Children of Eden at Hart. Okay. And then, I'm sorry, I'm missing it. It sold out. They're doing right now Willy Wonka, right? Yes. And so explain then, what what's the difference between a junior production and a full production? Typically, the junior production is... Um, it, it's aimed towards younger audiences. It, some of the things are cut out and the show is cut itself. So there's no intermission. It's a shorter production where the songs are shorter, the scenes are cut shorter, but gives a general idea of the themes that are all relaying the same type of concepts and all that. And so in terms of getting folks ready for this show, how long have you been working on it? They've been working on this show, um, I want to say for a month now. Um, they have also been juggling. A lot of the kids are also in Willy Wonka Jr. So they run from one rehearsal to the next. Um, it's coming up quick, but they're doing a great job balancing it all for sure. Okay. And so people don't necessarily realize this, you know, they'll come see a show and you're only doing this. Unfortunately, it's only over what, two weekends or three weekends, yes, two weekends, two weekends, which is a shame. So they only get a chance to see it. What Friday night, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, and now we have two shows on Saturday. They oh, added, okay. yeah. Great. So, uh, when are those times? And dates? so the night shows are at seven thirty, and the matinees are at two o'clock. Okay, and so that's great. So Saturday there's an additional matinee on Saturday. So that's, mm -hmm. that's pretty rigorous schedule to do this in, in two weeks oh, um, yeah. time. And so at this point in time, now let's see, we're in um, late uh, October already. When does the show open? The show opens November 9th and then runs through the 19th. And so at this point in time, how far advanced are you with respect to how is it uh, shaping up? Well, we are actually done blocking the show, uh, done with choreo. And now the kids are just pretty much making sure they're off book and we're reviewing, walking through the show to make sure there's not any um, rough parts. And then next week we start tech. And they're going to come in and most everything's going to be pretty much ready so we can uh, fly through and get them comfortable being on the space in the in the stage. Yeah. Now, as choreographer, uh, are you there all the time or how often are you there? So at first I had to juggle being in my production at school and then um, 
you know, also choreographing. So they actually spent a lot of time doing music and blocking during those times. And then um, my co-choreographer, Javen, and I would come in and we would choreograph outside while we were, um, you know, balancing class schedules as well, and then would come in and teach. And then we kind of had to go back and forth a little bit. But now that I am done with my production, I am able to be there um, every rehearsal. So... Yeah, pretty involved right now, but um, it wasn't as much in the beginning. How is that working with a co choreographer? You know, how is it, it? How is it? Yeah, is it easier to do it just yourself or is it fun having somebody oh, else? It's definitely um, more fun doing it with someone else and it, and it takes the stress off of getting stuck on a part of choreography. We're able to balance off each other and we work really, really well together. Um, he's one of my best friends. Uh, so we just get lost in the studio and can crunch out some choreography and uh, just have fun with it, really. You have a disagreement between the two of you as to what you're going to do? <laughs> I mean, yes, of course, that's going to happen. <laughs> There's going to be moments where it's like, well, I don't think that's necessarily right. But you just have to let go lightly and then keep going and balance, um, making sure that everyone has a good say in what choreography is. Now, have you ever been have you ever been a show with him also? Yes. Um actually my class, senior musical theater majors, and we've done several productions together now. Okay. So talk about then the experience of working with the kids at Hard and maybe just a little bit explain what that program was all about. So I think and we give a shout out to Sheila uh Sumter, who runs it. I just think that's an amazing program. W what is it all about? I mean, it's really about getting kids introduced to theater. Um, teaching them the joy of this art and um, guiding them through this crazy industry, really. Um, and I've had a blast so far. This is my first time working at Heart. Um, everyone is amazing. I'm so thankful for Sheila for asking me to be part of this and for Candice for also um, being on that as well. I have so much fun uh, teaching them. And it's just nice to share that joy because I was once one of those kids doing these junior productions and looking up to the choreographer and director and just being like, I want to do that. So yeah, it's really special. Did you see the movie? It was just out, uh, Theater Kids. Is that the name of it? Yes. Did yeah. you see it? I did. I did see it. I loved it. Some people didn't. What do you think? I personally loved it. I think if you're a theater kid at heart, you have so many things to relate to in that in that movie that you can just laugh at and um and just enjoy with your friends. I went and saw it with a few of my friends who are also theater kids as well. Yeah, had you ever gone to anything like that? Um, a uh, camp? Yeah. I used to do summer camps as a kid where it'd be like a two week intensive and we right. put a show together really quickly. Um, yeah, I did that all the time growing up. And so it was, you, you could tell that it was fairly realistic. Yeah. Yes, they definitely dived right into the comedy and being crazy dramatic, but it's close to what actually happens. Okay, well, sure. you, you would know. Let me ask you this. In terms of working with kids, I guess and it'd be working with adults as well. Um, some people, and I would be one of them, would tell you that they can't dance. Or do, do you hear that told to you, you know, that? Oh, yeah. They, they, I mean, they make great singers, actors, whatever, but they don't have dancing ability. Can you teach anybody to at least get through the process? Oh, hundred percent. I, that's one of my main goals is just to make sure they love the choreography. They have fun doing it. Um, as long as they're having fun, they look great and they work hard. Um, there's a lot of videos that I send them outside to practice if they struggle to pick up choreo or, um, I'm always open for questions and working with them individually, um, to get them there, but they all look fantastic and they work really, really hard. Because I guess one of the problems is almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. If some people, and I would be one of them, say they can't do it, if you say that, you're not you're going to have trouble, right? You just have sure. to be willing to give it a shot. Yes. And that's the same thing too, I guess, with singing or or performing anything. You just have to not be a a negative aspect to it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm a tutor uh, at school as well, and sometimes there's moments where people are like I can't do this. Um, and I like to change their perspective and um, give them some, uh, you know, positive enforcement and it changes it and they end up proving themselves wrong. And you're talking lot. tutoring in terms of other stuff or tutoring in terms of 
dance. in terms of dance yes okay very very cool and it must be exciting to you to watch something somebody comes in and they can't dance at all and at least yeah. is is presentable at, at the very end of this yeah and it happens all the time i mean a lot of the time they start out not you know, maybe even having two left feet and then um, really working hard. I think it's all about what you put into it and what you want to get out of it. So all these kids work insanely hard, though, and put so much time and energy into learning their music, learning their lines, learning the choreography. And they pull off these really challenging productions all the time. And talk about that process, because I don't think people realize that how much is time put into it. So, for example, these are mostly kids still in school, right? They're in yes, junior all high, of school, them. high school. And so they have to go to school and then they come and then have to work at hot for what how how many hours? Yeah, typically, typically two two hours is what we do. Um and then during tech it'll be three hours. It's and then sometimes they're juggling, say, another production at the same time. So all those hours do add up. Uh, for sure. They go to school, they come right to rehearsal, they work on JTF, which is another theater convention, they're doing Willy Wonka, and then they come to rehearsal for um, Mean Girls for another two hours at the end of the day. It's crazy. When you were doing this, and you've been in several shows at one time, you said, does it ever get confusing? You know, actually, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> you would think so, but your mind kind of switches, switches um, wires whenever you hear the music of this other thing in it. It sparks, sparks a different brain. You mentioned you've done some tutoring also. How does it tie into, um, in terms of being a student when you're going to college, you being a, a great example. So you're going to college now, you try, you're in your senior year now? Yes. So you're yeah. trying to finish your senior year. You're doing productions. You're doing all this stuff as well. I guess it makes you, in some respects, more disciplined. Yeah, I mean, I'm always... Um, you know, having to set schedules, I have a to-do list at the beginning of the day. I have a lot of things I need to get done. Um, I also have to take care of my body because I am a dancer and I, um, you know, I'm putting myself through a lot of classes each day, sometimes up to three classes uh, dance wise a day and then going to rehearsal. So health is a big part of that as well. Making sure I'm eating well and, um, uh, doing my homework as well as, uh, coming up with choreography for the kids as well. And I guess so the only thing it's probably tough to do is you probably don't get that much sleep in terms of <laughs> doing all these things. Right. You you have to prioritize it. It's in the schedule to okay. sleep as well. Well, the only thing I don't see in, behind you, I don't see your roller skates, you know, in terms of how do you get from one thing to another, you know. Right. Uh, I mean, it's just in, incredible. You're doing all these different things. Like today, we're speaking, it's on a uh, Saturday and do you have tonight, you have a rehearsal or you have a rehearsal today, Bill? Um, I don't have rehearsal today, no. Um, I do have to tutor a student for dance later and then um, do some self-tapes for a submission for an assignment and auditions coming up. So In your spare time, is that correct? Yeah, all in my spare time. Today's actually a free day. It's okay. just full of trying to get work done. What's well, funny, we spoke earlier, you were saying you were in the middle of something you know, as I guess you're always in the, in the middle of, of something moving forward so you're going to uh, eventually or are you going to graduate from Western Carolina when uh spring 2024 spring 2024 okay. moving forward what do you see yourself doing um the dream and goal is to audition obviously as many places as possible but ideally I would love to see myself on a cruise ship uh, I would love to be a performer doing that, uh, get uh, some experience under my belt, and then eventually move to New York and do professional productions up there. Okay, as a dancer? Yeah, as a dancer, singer, actor. I do it all. So. And choreographer? Uh, yeah, I definitely. I would totally uh, still be open to doing that. I That's not something I will shy away from. And do you see yourself ever directing? I do, yes. Okay, so to recap, in terms of this particular show, and this is Mean Girls, the junior version, it's going to be at what dates again? November 9th through the 19th. Okay, 9th to 19th. I'm glad you mentioned they added, which is great, that Saturday afternoon performance. And uh, the best bet to get tickets is to what? Go to the website, which is? Which is hearttheater.org, or you can go to their box office at the theater itself. Okay, well, anyway, I'd like to thank you for being my guest, uh, Nikki, on the uh, um, this um, Jerry, Jesse, I'll get it correct, Jesse, on this edition of the Blaine's World Podcast. 
I look forward to seeing Mean Girls, and maybe sometime I'll get to see you on stage performing something. Love to do Thank that. you so much. I appreciate it. It's been blessed. Okay, thanks, Jesse. Be well. Thanks. Stay with me after we sign off.